Okay, everybody, let's get started. We're going to work in the same project as we did before, and I'm going to make a new mm, scene called West Park. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my background and I'm going to import my little guy. So let's see. We have uh, resources over here. And I'm going to import the arm, head and legs, and the hand. And all of these are mouths, and I'm just going to import one of them from for now. So I'm just going to select these four, and I'm simply going to click and drag to the canvas. Okay, if you're interested, I have the SVG over here, and you can use Inkscape to modify it. Next, I'm going to import the forest as well, which I downloaded from Pexels. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the forest. Okay, good enough like this, right? Okay, next I'm going to put this on the background. And I'm going to hide it so it won't distract me from now on. Okay, I'm also going to move the mouth to the foreground. And I'm going to move the arm, the hand, in front of the guy, the body, and also the arm in front of the body. And I'm going to, no, I'm going to put the arm behind the body actually. And I'm going to move these around too. And I'm going to put the mouth in its proper place as well. I'm going to duplicate this arm. Copy and paste. I'm going to scale this and I'm going to scale it exactly negative 100%. That means it's just going to flip it horizontally. And go back to position and move it over here. And I'm going to do the same with this hand. And here we've set up our little guy. Let's save it. So now that I've set up my little guy, I'm going to animate it. So let's make him walk for about two seconds. Hold down shift to select all of these frames. And then drag it down to 48 seconds. Now I want to animate the whole body, including the arms and the legs. But as you can see, they're all in different columns. So when I move one, it's going to just move only that column. We've seen that we can use uh, this collapse function to group all the columns together. But there's another way, if I don't want to use this collapse function, uh, to join them together. And that's using the, the state schematic. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. And I'm going to go to Windows Schematic. And as you can see in the Stage Schematic, the central point is this table and all the columns are here. And I can change the relationships between this. So this AI is actually the mouth. Let's see, I want to make the body and legs to be the anchor. And I want everything else to be linked compared to that. So I'm going to just attach the AI, the mouth, 
to the body and I'm going to attach the hand no you know what I'm going to attach the arm to the body and I'm going to attach the other arm to the body as well and the hand this left hand should be attached to this right left arm and this hand should be attached to this this arm the palm is supposed to be pointing inside and let's go back up here and at the original frame we want to make sure that it's in the right position okay now I'm gonna move the body and as you can see when I move the whole body these two other arms move as well and these legs and this mouth because they're all connected to the body in the stage schematic so let's scale the whole thing make it a bit smaller let's show the background change the position start him outside the screen and then after two seconds we have him in the middle of the screen and we have him bounce about a bit Okay, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to use this uh, new hierarchy, which we defined using the stage schematic, and we're going to use it to create a skeleton. So we're going to learn all about the skeleton tool. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.